and those who support the channel, hi to those who are new. Transposing between the two saxes. This is something that comes up a lot. I'm just going to whiz through it because this is meant to be my quick tip, so I'm trying to be brief. Um, basically, a lot of the time I get questions if I've done um, a, tra a transcription on alto, there'll be people asking me to put it on tenor and vice versa. Uh, so I thought, do you know what, I should do a tutorial quickly to give you the tools to do that yourself. So basically there are a fourth or a fifth apart, depending which instrument you're going to. So for example, an A on the alto will come out as a D on the tenor. Let me just prove that, a D an octave up. <laughs> La 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 la, me 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 me, the moment of truth, it should come out as a D on the tenor. Ooh, not quite in tune, but they're, they're technically the same note. Um, now if you're going the other way, uh, if you're going from tenor to alto, it'll be a fifth up. So basically, every note that you play on the alto, if you're transposing it onto a tenor, you need to count four up. So let's say we were on a B, B, C, D, E. It would be an E on the tenor. Other way round, if we're going from tenor to alto, so let's say we're on a D, we go five up. So D, E, F, G, A. Hope that makes sense and I hope it was useful. Please give it a thumbs up if it was. I love the positivity of a thumbs up. It's such a positive, happy thing. And um, chat to me, let me know how you're doing and if you've got any questions, that's what the comments box are for. I will see you in the next one. Bye.